what's up guys welcome back to the video today um, today i'm gonna show a little surprise that i got this is like two days ago this brand new screwdriver set i'm not sure why the camera i'm not focusing but this is a screwdriver that i've always been wanted for like the most cheapest price but a rack as you can see it's on a rack the camera's not showing very well but this is the most cheapest screwdriver i could find with a rack no, this thing weighs a lot. I don't have a scale, but this I can feel how he heavy this thing is. And this has multiple different screwdrivers, like the normal full of some flathead. You also have I'm gonna actually go through all of them and then show you what uh so the first we have is these um these alarm wrenches that are basically for you know this is actually a mechanic set, but this the reason why I get two in these pairs because you know people who know inches and millimeters so people who know inches and millimeters they made two separate sets now they are a little bit difficult to paint compare how i see them in real life they are a little bit difficult to paint so that's that's that you also have the socket set which i will get into later I have this multiple bit set so the one you see right here is the normal flops and flathead one. This is for the flops and flathead. It's not very bad, but there's so much shadow. You can't see it. But that's it's that. So basically you have like five different flops. I mean flathead and I think like uh let me get five different of these flops. Next to that we have the torques. These this torques one. I'm not sure why, but camera is so blurry. Then you have these. You have the these over here are flops, but then they have these different type of flops. I forgot the name. Mark. These are flops, but then these are the are different type of flops. Also, there's a socket adapter at the end of this one. I'm not sure man, but it does not focus, but as you can see it does suck it up right there, right in front, ADP. Then, next thing we have is the hexagon bit set. Hexagon bit set, and also, the ones down here are square. These are square, these four bits down here are square, as you can see, square bits. And hex gone. I have a difficult time playing this back because I can't really watch the camera properly. Then we have the socket rack, which is separate with all the different type of socket. Unfortunately, I'm lost missing one socket because when I ship, when I got shipped, they actually really messed up all these sockets because I got they say they have socket eleven and I did not see socket eleven. The, the the closest biggest I have is socket ten and I have socket twelve which is the biggest. But the closest biggest I find was socket ten and not socket eleven. Which is kinda strange though. So you have they say they have socket four which is the smallest, but this is socket five. Sorry guys, but I don't know if you could see it, but this is socket five. Just to bury. The socket five. And this is socket what? This is socket eight. Then put this back here. This is socket what? Tell me if this is a lower or higher. Socket seven. So I think I messed up the boot. Socket seven. I didn't mess them up. Yeah, so socket it was a little bit bigger. Then I have what is this? Socket nine. And uh, I'm kind of like a bit tired holding this thing. Socket 9. Currently I'm recording on a towel, but it's a bit hard uh, thing. Socket 9. I don't know, man. I'm just not focusing. What's your video video quality? This is Socket 10, the close biggest, where they say they have Socket 11, which I didn't find. Then this is Socket 12, the biggest. Then we have all these different types of screwdrivers. 
I just want to put this back. Let's start there. Now I organize these things to get the video good. Bro, why is it not focusing? So the ones, the smallest ones you see right here are the little scrubby ones. They're basically meant for tight spaces. You know, if you're working on uh, those cabinets and all the um, other stuff like those cabinets and such, them are good. So what you got here is the flat head. Now it's finally focusing. And you got the Phillips. I will link the the description of the section below. For the price, it's really good. And don't forget, I forget the all of these are actually magnet tips, so they're easier to grab the screws with. Flatten and flops. And this is the cheapest one. I think I could find with the rack only. I'm not sure there's any cheaper deals with this rack. Then you have these other ones, which you have this with the tin handle one. This is the tin flat head. Like that. Then you have the one with the flops as well. Tin flat head and tin flops. Now, I organized this since I got it. So I don't care about how they are uh, position. Then you have the, I think like this medium or large. But the small ones are much larger. You have a, a tiny, like kind of like a medium flat head. And this one is the wrong one. I died. I did pull out. This thing gives trouble to going back. And this is a, a more like a medium sized flops. And these things, I'm comf they're very comfortable, but I just want to grip this thing here. Because I just be holding on here and stuff here. This feels a little bit uncomfortable. Because the design of the grip. But overall, it's so comfortable. I'm not going to move this middle screwdriver yet until. Alright, coming on to the big screwdrivers. I think these are, let me guess, this is Phillips. This is Alma, like a small Phillips, but for the long um handle one and the long steel thing and this is a long flat head this is a put that back this is flat head honestly I don't I ha I didn't have a good time playing this because I was back in the rack because they keep thing then here's I think like a medium size Flat head and flops. Um, the flops. I've not used the really. I mean, I have. Um, I think like a medium size flat, flat head, but they all long shafts. See, remember, all of these are magnet I bike except for those bits. They're not really magnet tips. Since they're black, they're not really, really like magnet tips. But if they're like black coating. Yeah, I'm like magnet tips. Sorry, just trying to put this back. Then you have the giant. You have a large Phillips and a large flat head. I was surprised when I saw these, man. Like, these are um, outstanding heavy. It's so heavy. Like, holding to the grip, it literally weighs. Like, it, it really has put weight to this thing. Check out that. My hand is so big, it really fits my hand perfectly. But remember, I don't like this grip with the uh, this circle thing. But this is outstanding set for what for the price of this. It is small, as I expected it to be bigger, but it's a really good set. This is the main unit for the um for the bits attachment. I think this is also a built-in socket as well. So it gives the tighten up the bolts. Built in socket. Any bits now? Oh god, I'm gonna have some trouble with this part. One of the bits. Alright, this is the bit holder. All of them are actually acting like silicone or is it just um rubber? Rubber gonna make it harder for it to come out. Honestly, I will be right back because these things are hard to come out in the silicone. Once I got the bit out, they are very hard to come out. Then get stick in this screwdriver. Unfortunately, I don't have a stand because I'm physically um using my tablet. I'm gonna use my tooth to hold it. Then 
this bit hole has actually magnets, so you don't need to be worrying about that. So it, it just drops in place when like that. And you have a screwdriver. They can choose many sizes of bit as I told you before. I have many different sizes to choose. All the other bits. Also, let me show you the socket adapter, which is a good feature because this is remember this is a mechanic set, so you can use this for like cars, building and bikes as such. Let me get the socket adapter. This is the D10 pin one. I think so. This is the D10 pin one, which is the type of socket adapter I like. Once again, I'll be right. Finally, I'm struggling to get the socket adapter out. This is the, T the D10 pin one, which has this, this little ball on one side. And you just put the screwdriver in here. Oh god, my foot gonna get cramped like this. This seems so much so, like that. But I would definitely recommend. Now, the socket rack is quite easy to take off. Not like the snap on one. So, for example, I wanna get like. I think this is socket 8 where I mix up. And basically, I just put it like this. I would put something like that. What? Let me show you something. Okay, so I'll just put the socket adapter and the screwdriver. Remember, that's the magnet one. Then you, then you put the socket. Now this is the square one, like your ratchet and wrench. So you put it like that. Remember, that's the D10 pin. Hope that doesn't mix it up. If I'm correct me if I'm wrong here, just like that. And you can use it for bikes and such like that. One complaint I already see is the whole socket adapter comes out when you're removing the socket. Then let's go to the large, which is the 12 millimeter. And there's a next complaint with this part as well. So you put this on and it just snaps. There's a lot of play with this thing, which is kind of off balancing the thing. I'm not sure if you can see, but if I spin it around, there's like too much of off balance going to this um thing because this I think this quest widened too much. But yeah, there you go. That's your socket adapter. You can use this for bikes and such like. That. I'm gonna put these things back. So hey guys, also I wanna show where my original screwdriver I had previously. That screwdriver I said is not actually my original, you know. This is my So this was my original screwdriver here. My mom bought me since last year. But this is actually a 7-in-1 screwdriver, which basically 7-in-1 bits. So basically, what you have here is like a small flat head. They're really hard to take them out. I'm not gonna take them out. It already blows already, but I have a small flat head, a small, I mean a medium sized flat head, and a large sized flat head. Then I have this secret one. You have this, um, this big, this large Phillips. Finally, it's focusing. And a medium sized Phillips and a small Phillips. This part here, you might be thinking, also, this is a built in flashlight. It has a button, but you have to, like, Hold it as you can see, it has a built in flashlight. So, I'm not just want a bright spot like that. Not as bright, but the camera does pick it up bright. This here is actually something that really different. This part, okay, if I unscrew the cap on top here, okay, this cap here, right? If I unscrew that. There's something you never, I don't know if you can see. There's a tiny, tiny Phillips. Then if you unscrew the whole thing like this, if you unscrew it, you get that very tiny flat and you can also switch them around, but I don't have time for that. So I hope you all enjoy guys. So basically what I'm doing, I'm replacing my set. So hope you enjoy guys. See you next time. Bye bye.